Now, KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist Aaron Bracken. A little bit of a windy day earlier on today, but at least the temperatures were spectacular just in time for the weekend. We do see a cold front off to the north, though cooler temperatures in northern Nevada, northern Utah, but we will keep the sunshine locked in place tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, and then things will change just a little bit. We're already tracking this midweek storm. Here it is on our satellite composite south of the Aleutian Islands, actually where the clear sky is right now, ironically, and obviously we are here. That's uh, several thousand miles of difference right there. So we're going to fine tune this as we get closer day by day. Our models will bring in more data and we'll be able to show where the storm is going to go. But right now we have the sunshine to enjoy. You can see that there on the satellite and radar composite and we'll wait for that storm to get a little closer. Current indications right now though Wednesday through Thursday morning it's going to pull through and this thing looks to have a pretty impressive cold front with it. So we're going to take temperatures from the 70s on Tuesday and we could have highs that won't get out of the upper 40s as we look toward Monday, just 24 hours later. Along with that, we'll see some rainy, soggy conditions across the area as this thing does pull through and the cold conditions look to last for a while too. Let's worry about that later. Let's talk about the warmth today. Four degree increase over this time yesterday in Tucson, six degree increase in Oracle, and you can see some single digits also in Cochise County. That's certainly good. It felt nice out there and we've dropped a degree from our high 74 in Tucson. Look at Phoenix, though, still hanging on to that 80 degree temperature right now. Very, very nice out there, but here's what we've had to contend with. The wind was with us pretty much all day long. If you were up early today, it actually warmed to 60 degrees just after sunrise. Those winds bringing in that warmer air also helping us out here. A very low dew point, just six degrees, and that means that our air could warm up very quickly today. On the flip side, it's going to cool off quickly as we see that sun go down. So wind gusts of 27 right now in Oracle, 22 in Wilcox. You can see the winds are scattered though right along the border. Just nine in Douglas. Not really anything uh, too dangerous to deal with out there. You see the high of 75 earlier today over our average of 69. On the low side, we did eke down to 45. That was just after midnight, though, and temperatures actually increased. So for tonight, down to 36 in Sierra Vista, 33 in Nogales. You see a 29 there in Wilcox, 28 in Douglas for you. And here in Tucson, we say goodbye to the wind. It will relax tonight, clear and dry across the area with that 41 degree low temperature. So cooler than last night due to the clear skies. As we look toward tomorrow, another repeat of today. 75 and beautiful out there. Southwesterly winds at 5 to 10. 65 in Sierra Vista for tomorrow. Nogales 70 will be your high temperature. A little cooler in Phoenix. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast. Now you see 73 on Monday, 72 Tuesday, and then the cold front comes. You don't have to be a meteorologist to see this one. 49 by Wednesday, rainy conditions. The showers continue on Thursday and look at the low on Wednesday real close to the high. We're not going to increase too much and beyond that we still have some rain chances as we look toward the weekend and we're doing our new ask Aaron why now uh, John David asks on our keg on Facebook page. How do barometric changes play a part in <coughs> forecasting in the weather? It's actually very important. High pressure means nice weather. Low pressure means more stormy conditions. When you have an area of low pressure, all the air wants to rush to it. When that happens, you get upward motion, clouds and rain. And we're going to see some of that once again as we head toward Wednesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. Guys, enjoy the warm weather uh, now. Yeah, you know, and I like this because it helps with trivia games. It, it does. <laughs> well, I'm going to put a